here we are starting a new chapter in song and the name of the chapter is principal stresses and planes it is called as principal stresses and planes sometimes we even call it as principal stresses and strains now when we are talking about principal stresses and planes first i'll give an example that here there is a plane plane has negligible thickness next year i'll assume that along x direction there is a stress called as sigma x which is of tensile nature then along y there is stress sigma y which is again of tensile nature so now i'll say that for this figure a body or a plane may be subjected to only normal stress now normal stress means either tensile or compressive stress so here the example one which i have given in this a plane is subjected to stress stresses along two perpendicular directions that is along x and y along x the stress is sigma x along y it is sigma y and they are called as normal stresses so a plane may be only subjected to normal stress next if i consider the same plane call it as a b c and d and now instead of normal stress it can happen that the nature of the stresses would be like this in two opposite directions that is the first stress is acting upward on the face ad next a stress is acting in downward direction on face bc i'll call it as tau so this indicates shearing action because in case of shear one of the force would be acting in one direction other should act in the opposite direction because of that there is shearing action so here on face ad the shear stress or i can say the shear force is acting along upward direction on bc it is acting along downward direction because of that there would be shearing or sliding of this plane next similarly now because of this sliding i can say that this is clockwise shear the other thing possible is that on face ab there can be shear stress acting towards left tau then on face dc there can be a shear stress acting towards right so because of that this is called as the anti clockwise shear first it was clockwise shear again there is shearing action so i can say that a body or a plane may be subjected to only shear stress the other word of shear stress is tangential stress now in this example here the body is acted upon only by shear stress previously it was subjected to only normal stress so here we have seen what is meant by normal stress and shear stress next there can even be a case where we have normal as well as shear stress so i can say that again drawing the diagram
plane ABCD. Now here I'll say that sigma x is acting along x direction. Sigma y is the stress along y direction. Now this is a case of normal stress. Then apart from that there is even shear stress. Shear forces are acting on phase AD on phase BC. Next there is even shear stress acting along AB and acting along BC. So the third case I can write it down as a body or a plane may even be subjected to a combination of normal stress as well as tangential stress which is also called as shear stress. So now as I have started the introduction of this chapter by explaining that how the stresses are acting on different planes. So in this chapter we are going to see such cases in which normal stress shear stresses would be acting along plane. Sometimes the plane may even be inclined and we have to find out the values of stresses on that inclined plane. So here in this chapter some notations would be used that is tensile or compressive stresses given in the problem that is in the data in the problem would be denoted by sigma x or sigma y or it can be opposite or vice versa. Now here I have written an important point that in the chapter of principal stresses and planes tensile or compressive stresses given in the problem that is in the data they will they would be denoted by sigma x or sigma y next shear stress or i can say the tangential stress stress will be denoted by sigma suffix t now whenever i write sigma suffix t in this chapter it would be tangential stress and not tensile stress because if it is tensile or compressive we can denote it directly by sigma x or sigma y. So these are some special notations which would be used in this chapter. So here in this video we have seen the introduction of the chapter of principal stresses and planes.